You're just a few mouse clicks away from creating your first unstructured ETL Plus workflow. To do this, on the sidebar, click Workflows. Then click New Workflow. Build It Myself should already be selected. Then click Continue. And here's your workflow. With just a few more mouse clicks, you can customize this workflow and have it running in no time. To do this, click Source. Use one of the sample files that are provided. For example, let's try this newsletter file. Not sure what's in it? Just click the View button. After you've selected it, then click Test. You'll see a visual representation of the file on the left. And on the right, you'll see the results of Unstructured's processing. In just a few moments, you'll see Unstructured's results. You'll see a representation of Unstructured's view of the data. You can also download this file locally. Just scroll back to the top and click Download Full JSON. When you're done with this screen, just click the Close button. What's next? Well, instead of the sample file, you can put your own file here instead. And then you can rerun the workflow to see the results for your own file. You can also add additional functionality to this workflow. For example, you can add a chunker, you can add enrichments, and you can add vector embeddings. When you're ready to move your workflow into production, simply swap out the local source for your remote production data. Click Source, then click Connectors. Choose the source of your production data, then click Destination, and choose the destination for your processed data. When you're done, click Save. To run it, make sure the workflow is active, then click Run. To see the results of your production workflow, click Jobs, then click the job and monitor its status. And that's it.